and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am at McDonald's trying the new summer menu. I think there's gonna be two summer menus, but this one is Italian themed. So, they have got two new burgers and a tiramisu McFlurry, which I don't know how excited I am, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I will explain what each one is and read the description once I've got them. But before we get into the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Hello, can I take your order? Hi, can I get the Italian stack meal, please? Yep, anything else? Um, and then can I get the crispy chicken Italiano, but on its own, please? The mozzarella dippers? Yep. And the tiramisu McFlurry, please? Yeah, anything else? No, that's all, thank you. Right, payment to the next one, then. Thanks. Okay, guys, I've got the goods. Oh my God, the packaging looks so cool. I hope this lighting's okay. It's the summer, so as soon as the sun comes out, the sun is the worst thing for filming. Like, I know you probably think, oh, sun gives you good light. No, it ruins it. So, apologies. Now, this looks classy. Whoa, that is a lot of lettuce. The first thing I'm going to try is actually the mozzarella dippers, because you have to. If you wait for them, they go hard. So, we need to go straight in with one. I've definitely tried one of these before. Oh, I just love cheese. Cheese is great, right? I will say the tiramisu McFlurry that I've got sitting right there is already like a pool of milk. I might do the controversial thing and try it first because like, I've only just bought this and it did look like this pretty much straight away. It's literally liquid. So if I wait till I've eaten two burgers and I've chatted some rubbish, Oh yeah, where's my descriptions? I was all prepared today. Whenever I've got all the food in front of me, that's it, my brain, my brain, my brain just goes. So this says soft dairy ice cream, duh, swelled with chocolate flavoured biscuit pieces and luxurious coffee and chocolate flavoured sauce. Mmm. I'm not a fan of like coffee flavoured stuff, but that is actually really good. The coffee is subtle. Not too overpower. Eh? No. Not too overpowering. I didn't even ask for double toppings. Because <laughs> I was like, I don't need any extra coffee. But that's actually really good. Kind of sad it's melted. I'm not going to be able to eat it properly last. But there is so much in this. It doesn't sound appetising, but it tastes lovely. I'm so hot, I just kind of want to eat this. But no, let's move on. Let's do the Italian stack first of all. This is the beef burger, two beef patties, mozzarella, onions, crispy onions, rich tomato sauce, lettuce, smooth cheese sauce, a lot going on in this. All served, this is the bit which made me a bit sad, in a freshly toasted tomato and basil flavored bun. Okay, bun? <laughs> bun that sounds better when i saw something else online it said tomato and herb bun but this just says basil and i like basil so i love how the burger ones are always smaller a lot of lettuce in this i might actually pick this lettuce out because i don't really like this type of lettuce but look at the insides of the bun that looks really good but yeah let me take the lettuce out so that it's not flopping everywhere this type of lettuce brings nothing to the table in my opinion i'm just really excited for the cheese sauce i said to myself before i come today that i'd bring my tray did i no also in case you're wondering why i'm wearing a space jam top i'm also wondering that too wow okay that looks much better without all that unnecessary lettuce right this bun feels really good it's like Mmm. Mmm. feel like I really need to get into this burger, like where the crispy onions are. First impressions are so far, it's very dry. This cheese sauce that they're speaking of, I'm not really getting anything from it. So let's do a sweet and sour dip. It's a lot of nothingness. Like, I'm getting the oniony, I'm seeing the cheese, but there's not a lot of, I don't know. I'm gonna eat on this bit where it looks like there's a lot going on. Mm hmm, give me some air quick. 
where the tomatoey bit was there that was a lot better but I'm not vibesing with that. That to me is a very dry burger. Sounds a lot better than what it is. If I have to dip it in like loads of sweet and sour to give it a flavor, not a flavor, but like, I don't know, just like give it some moistness. I'm gonna rate that a 6.5 out of 10. Let's have a sip of drink before we move on to the next burger. I'm so sad about the tiramisu ice cream because it's literally melting into a pool of nothing. I could just eat so many of these. We are now moving on to the chicken italiano, which is huge. Again, I'm just going to remove the lettuce because it allows me to taste the burger. Let's read the description. A delicious crispy chicken fillet topped with a juicy tomato slice, mozzarella, this is the bit I was excited for, basil pesto style sauce, red onion, lettuce, not for me. Toasted in a freshly giabatta style bun. Giabatta, really? When I read that description, it said red onion, but this is definitely, as you can see, not red onion. This is the first time, I believe, that, I was gonna say M&S, McDonald's has done pesto. Why have they put white onion in it then? Now you can see the real size of this. So look, yeah, this is the size of this chicken, huge. This end bit's gonna be very dry, so I'm just gonna dip it in the sweet and sour, because why not? Mmm. Very, very flavoursome. Very, very herby. Not got to the pesto bit really yet. Cheese pull. <gasps> Sometimes I hate myself. I'm supposed to be going shopping straight after this and I've just got the biggest dollar of onions and pesto all over my trousers. It's the type of trousers where you can proper tell they're like, I'm wearing like silky floaty trousers. This is gonna be like the money bite here, I think, cause it's got it all going on. Mm. Oh yeah, that is good. I much prefer this one to the other one. The other one for me, just a bit of nothingness really. I really love the pesto in that, not too overpowering. Um, hello, I seem to have gotten a Happy Meal chips. Nice. Couple that's fallen out. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that the person who took my car payment was like, I love your nails. Thank you. Even though they are hella grown out and I haven't got an appointment for like another two, three weeks nearly just before I go on holiday, I think I'm going to have to go to somebody else to do them. Like as a nail person, if you do nails or lashes or any beauty treatments like that, would you get offended if you couldn't give someone an appointment for five weeks and in that time they go somewhere else? Because I've only been to her twice, I don't want to piss her off, but if you guys let me know that's okay, I'm going to go elsewhere. I'll go to Ascot next week, I can't be walking around with trashy ass nails. I'm gonna rate this an eight. I feel like it's different to what McDonald's have done before because it's mozzarella, it's pesto. It's a huge bit of chicken, like it's humongous. It is a little bit dry, but then to be fair, I do always dip all of my burgers in sauce. So are all of my burgers dry? And I just don't know because I always eat my stuff with so much sauce on it. Let's eat my final one of these. I've just put more on me. Oh my god. This was definitely my favourite part. <laughs> oh, it's not even that hot in England today. I don't know why my car is so freaking warm. I think, yeah, that McDonald's should do a McDonald's create. No. A customer create. And like loads of people send in burgers that they think McDonald's should do. Fortunately, chips are... Let's see what I've got left of my tiramisu soup. Still a bit of ice cream foam there. This surprised me the most. I actually really like this. They're very brave doing tiramisu because honestly, a lot of people don't like it, but I'm really enjoying it. Would I get it again? Probably not. Biscuit after biscuit. Would I get the crispy chicken Italiano again? I probably would, which is unlike me to say, but I really like the like bezel, 
basil, pesto flavouring it. It's something different. My good soup has finished. My overall rating for the Italian summer menu, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Not bad, but I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing the new range. So yeah, I'm going to end the video here. But before you go, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel if you're new here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next one.